So we're getting uh, very close, of course, to this very important vote on August 2nd. Uh, the primaries here in the state of Kansas and on that ballot will be uh, the amendment uh, for Value Them Both, a very important pro-life amendment that restores and strengthens all the pro-life legislation that we've uh, fought so hard for over these many years to, to keep it in place uh, so that we can keep protecting uh, unborn children uh, and their mothers uh, and to help in any way we can to support them. Uh, it is so important that people of, uh, of all, all, uh, all people of goodwill, but here I appeal especially to the Catholics of our diocese and beyond uh, to, to go to the ballot, to go to the polls on August 2nd and to vote yes. Uh, this is critical for us and we won't have another opportunity like this for many, many years to come, if at all. So I appeal as your bishop to, uh, to do all that you can to, to not only vote yourselves, but also to encourage your neighbors, your other family members, your friends, your coworkers uh, to come to the polls on August 2nd and to vote yes to truly value both unborn children and their mothers. On uh, June 19th is the uh, celebration of Father's Day in our country. And uh, while it's a secular holiday and observance, it is also very, uh, very much a spiritual one because we know that God has created men to be fathers, uh, to give them that gift of fatherhood and to be fathers of families. And certainly uh, I want to say a word of spe special mention to our priests who are our spiritual fathers. Uh, that spiritual fatherhood, and I share in that as a bishop, first as a priest and then as a bishop, uh, is an essential part of it because the Lord blesses us not only with earthly fathers, human fathers, but also spiritual fathers. Additional men in our lives, like our priests, like our bishop, uh, like others that can support us in our spiritual journey, encourage us in living the faith and, uh, and helping us uh, all along on this pilgrimage of life to our eternal Father uh, who is God in heaven. It's uh, also an opportunity for us on that Sunday to celebrate Corpus Christi, the feast, uh, the solemnity of the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. It's a most important uh, solemnity for us in the Catholic Church and in the Diocese of Wichita, we're celebrating a year of the Eucharist. So we're putting the spotlight on the Eucharist as it should be. The Eucharist is the source and the summit of our Catholic life. And so on that day, we are hopefully will have many processions, Corpus Christi processions. Uh, so since the 14th century, the church has uh, brought Jesus and the most blessed sacrament out into the streets and into the towns uh, to not necessarily to show him off, but to uh, invite people into that mystery, uh, to share into that inner life of Jesus and his body, blood, soul, and divinity. It's a beautiful solemnity, a beautiful feast day, and uh, celebrating fatherhood, uh, the Father's, Father's Day and Corpus Christi on that day is, is, is unique in a sense because uh, fathers and their wives provide uh, healthy, nutritious meals for their children. God the Father is giving us the best source of our nourishment, spiritual nourishment, in giving us his son in the Eucharistic meal of Jesus uh, at the Mass. So happy Father's Day to everybody and happy uh, Corpus Christi Sunday.